It is truly wonderful to look up to the night sky and see all its beauty. But there is more than meets the eye. With our eyes we can only see the visible spectrum of light that is coming to us. That's why you call it visible. But that is only a small fraction of the whole spectrum. Now humans have been uh, successful in building telescopes and uh, satellites that help us see beyond the visible spectrum. And that led us to great discoveries. Unfortunately, one part is missing. We don't see mega electron gamma rays. Why should we care? Gamma rays are produced in violent events in the universe. Exploding stars, black holes, mergers, pulsars. All of these cool and fascinating events emit gamma rays, which we just miss out on. My group at Stanford is developing a new satellite that will enable us to observe these events. The main component of that satellite is a huge tank filled with liquid argon a noble element. When a gamma ray penetrates the argon, it undergoes several Compton scatterings. Simply said, the gamma ray collides with an electron in the outer shell, knocks it off, and changes direction. That happens several times until the gamma ray kind of zigzags and then loses all of its energy. Then the freed electrons drift down in the electric field in the tank and we are able to detect and count them on a wire grid. Once we know how many electrons were produced and where the gamma rays scattered, we can calculate the total energy of the gamma ray and the direction it came from. In essence, we build a telescope. A telescope by definition is telling us the direction of and the intensity of the incoming light rays. A big challenge in developing this technology is achieving a low electron readout noise. Some gamma rays interactions produce as little as 50 electrons and that is really hard to detect. Luckily our satellite will be in cold temperature in space so that helps, helps with the noise. What I just described is called a time projection chamber. Similar technology is being used at CERN and to detect dark matter. A time projection chamber enables, enables us to locate the gamma ray interaction in 3D space and to get the total energy deposited in the liquid argon. 